What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And today we do have some market talk as per usual. Drop 20,000 in the comments. But you know what? Today in this market talk video, we're going to go over. Um, the market and we're gonna actually drop a code word for the chance of you guys winning 20,000 MT and also For you guys to win the giveaway. I'm gonna announce it on my Twitter So make sure to go follow my Twitter down below at, It's at your bugs. So make sure to go follow my Twitter. We hit I'm gonna I'm gonna set the goal We hit 300 followers on Twitter. We're at like 230 So go smash that follow button on Twitter. We got the likes we got the views to do it So yeah, this video has got to hit around I let you know what let's get this video to a hundred likes 300 followers on Twitter will give away two $10 PSN codes and one $10 Xbox code as well as 20,000 MT on Xbox. So that's a pretty big giveaway if we can hit that goal within this week. So make sure to go do all that. Anyways, got a lot to talk about. These packs are going to day 21 hours, which is Friday. There's a lot to talk about today. You guys need to listen to this carefully because we're going to have a lot of stuff a lot of interesting things going on in the game so let's talk about it so first off i'm predicting flash packs friday think about it they dropped the spotlight on tuesday for a reason meaning if they did drop a spotlight on tuesday they have to drop they have to drop something crazy friday am i right so last time they dropped a spotlight tuesday i'm pretty sure maybe they dropped one thursday then they dropped flash the next day so Honestly, they're gonna try to make a lot of money off the flash promo. So since they're gonna dude, they're they're hungry as hell for money. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get any token awards anytime soon. That's one L I'm gonna say. Doesn't look like they're literally gonna even drop token rewards ever. Like I've been waiting for token rewards for so long. They have not dropped anything involved with token rewards. And honestly, it's so scummy. So scummy, but yeah. I have a ton of tokens waiting. Just keep holding on. Maybe they'll drop it next month, man. I don't know what's going on, but Friday, it's got to be something crazy. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you Thursday or today, I'm going to just tell you sell everything you have. Like, I'm going to show you. I have a lot of MTs. I sold a lot of stuff. But this whole team, everything I have, Lamar Odom, Peja, David Thompson, Sidney Moncrief, Kobe, Carmelo, Wilt, Yao, Curry, Everything I have is getting sold. Tony Allen, everything, every little car. The only things I'm not going to sell is Jamal Wilkes, Earl Monroe, and Jamal Wilkes, Earl Monroe, and one other, and Jerry West, because I need that for the diamond filter. But yeah, Friday, I'm expecting something crazy. I'm expecting a giant market crash. So try to sell everything you have. Get prepared for it. We're also going to have another video preparing for you guys tomorrow. Because they're probably going to drop a little tweet. That's why I'm trying to say sell tonight. Because they're probably going to drop a tweet saying tomorrow or some crap. And everyone's going to go to the auction, rush to the auction, and prepare for the market crash. So I'm getting you guys ready. They have to drop fire on Friday. I don't know what, but they are going to. So yeah, without with the rest of this video, we're going to go over the market. I'm going to show you what you guys should sell and what you shouldn't right now. So let's get into it. So first off, one method that has worked so well, I did it on Monday, I made literally 150k in 20 minutes, I'm not even lying to you guys, this filter, Diamond, dude, it kind of got ruined ever since the new packs came out, who's Canby Russell, when was he ever a Diamond, but yeah, th these, this was popping, it kind of got ruined, but uh, yeah man, it's been working really well. Been set, bought, I have Earl Monroe, Jerry West, and Wilkes in my collection. That's why I'm pressing enabled. So those are probably the cards you should pick up. Um, other than that, this filter is pretty money. If you do have Pascal see, um, Siakam, that's a dub for you because he's also ruining the filter. And for some reason, of course, the filter's not working. But yeah, this filter is really money. Try it out. Um, now let's go over some cards you probably have and you probably should sell. So let's get into it. So right now I was looking at Yao Ming's price, something that flared my eyes. I saw him at a hundred K, which is kind of confusing considering his height and his three ball and his mid and his everything. So I guess the new Hakeem did drop his price down because Hakeem is honestly the best center in the game besides like D-Rob. 
Personally, on Friday, this card is going to drop a lot. I know he is for the Richard Jefferson, which I might do. I'm still thinking about the spotlight Richard Jefferson. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Hakeem's going to be around 300 k till around Friday. So, if you do want to do the Richard Jefferson set, I would not recommend doing it now. We're actually probably going to have a, se a separate video for the Richard Jefferson set. So, right now, if you do get Hakeem, right, um, personally not really that i mean hakeem right now you're gonna lose a lot of mt friday is gonna be something crazy um you know what let's bid on hakeem let's see if we can get him for like two something and then sell him for like three something if that's the case that's dubs damn 258 that's light damn 284 all right you got him for 284 let's get that dub so as you can see right now everything's actually kind of high like chris bosh at 180 something Sell him. I actually got a booker for 88k. I sold him for 100k. Made about 2k. Get rid of your D books. He's literally on the verge of going for 100k. Get rid of him tomorrow or today. Whatever you want. One card I also want to look at. If you guys have Chris Bosh, um, I forgot. Is he on the Raptors or is he on the Heat? I think he's on the Raptors. Yeah. If you have Chris Bosh, get rid of him ASAP. This card. All right. Honestly, one of the best cards in the game. I'm not even going to lie. I love this card. I've been trying to bid on this card since he came out. I've never even touched one yet. He is so rare right now. Go ahead and sell him. If you have a diamond contract, plop one on for him. You could sell him for 200 plus. He's so rare. One of the best power forwards in the game. He's got the nastiest jump shot. If you do have Bosch, go ahead and sell him. Because, first of all, he's so rare. People compete on his bids like crazy. He's so super rare so try that out let me know how it goes uh we also so chris bosh rare sell uh we got kobe's you could sell kobe's lamar odom honestly i was looking at it i think you guys should wait on lamar odom's his price is actually kind of cheap 73 ish k 70k he's around 70k dude lamar odom the base 11 uh honestly he did go up he was 65 62k yesterday he's up to 73 i'm gonna wait till tonight or tomorrow to sell pretty good time honestly i'm gonna hold on to this guy sell him tomorrow or tonight if you have diamond curry if you have anything honestly tomorrow or tonight is gonna be the best time to sell just letting you guys know we got curry 74 69 looks like he's going for like 65 ish pretty big dubs for me I got him for 55 like two weeks ago and I held out to him. He was literally like nine, he was literally like 100k and I botched because then that uh, New Year stuff dropped and destroyed me. I thought it was going to be a spotlight. It was New Year stuff. Destroyed my day. Huge market crash. But yeah, that's what's going to happen again. If you guys remember when the New Year's market, market uh, the New Year stuff dropped, what happened? The market died. Um, I'm, predict I'm predicting something even better than this. Honestly, though, this, this content was really good. I was a fan of it. The spotlight content was terrible. This spotlight, I'm not a fan of it. I might do the spotlight challenges. I'm still thinking about it. But uh, I don't really like the whole Jason Kidd Evo. That's the one problem. So this, this is really good content, not going to lie. Really destroyed the market considering everyone has a three ball pretty much. So try it out. Um... Uh, for all you that did invest in Markel Folds, you can honestly sell. He did go up a little bit. Try to sell him. Uh, if you have Diamond LeBrons and Kobe's, honestly, as some a lot of people have been asking me about if they should sell their Diamond LeBron and Kobe's. I'm about to answer that for you right now. Once you see them with no buyout, like, ah, oh, that's such a L. Kobe dropped to 90. So, I'm just going to say, try to get Kobe. Try to sell him for at least 95. I would not sell him for 90. There's no Diamond LeBron. Damn. So, looks like Kobe is cheaper than LeBron, which is an L because Kobe's better because he's quick draw. And Hall of Fame claims. Uh, try sell Kobe for 95. I wouldn't really try selling him for under 90, but if you're impatient, I would, I guess. But yeah, these are probably going to be all gone until, like, they're all going to be gone tonight. Kobe's so fire. Like, he's got clamps, bro. Does he, have, he does have Hall of Fame clamps. This card is filthy. Try to hold on to him until he goes up to 95s and sell him. But, yeah, I have mine still. 
everything as you can see bro everything is dropping slowly so just keep that in mind as you see if you see everything keep dropping every day it means something coming someone knows that something big is coming and honestly i'm one of them something big's coming so you guys need to take this video prepare for it but yeah other than that i hope you guys did enjoy all those people who stocked up on wilts around 30 something k go ahead and sell he's not gonna go up for a while but yeah other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the vid stay tuned for more content Peace.